Good evening. Morning. Good evening. Hi, Ernesto. How are you? Good night. Okay. Good night, Hello. How are you, Jaime? Hola. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, bien, bien. I'm fine. Really good. And you? Excelente. Bye. Okay. Excellent. Aquí estamos ya. Aquí estamos ya. Ready. <laughs> hoy, hoy sí tenemos internet, hermano. Ayer no teníamos internet. Ah, ok, ok. That's good. Solo logré y el teléfono me estaba fallando. Ah, ok. Don't worry. Uh, that's normal. Sometimes happens that the internet connection is failed, right? Ok, Jaime Ernesto. Eh, Vamos a aprovechar acá, this time. Eh, ahí, thanks for your time. Gracias por estar a tiempo. Eh, this is for you, right? Esta clase es para ustedes, así que <clears throat> we're gonna try to make a feedback about yesterday class. Vamos a hacer una pequeña retroalimentación de la clase de ayer. Eh, ok. okay uh, did you remember what was yesterday topic? ¿Se recuerda el tema de ayer? Mm -hmm. Jaime, eh, yes or the class? Yes. Aquí, ahí estamos, ok. Ok. La clase de ayer solo, al principio vi este, eh, teacher, al yes. principio. <coughs> ah, ok. Uh, yesterday class we were talking about may and might may and might right may and might. Uh, ¿qué significaba may and might may so, so, did you remember what does what does it mean okay vamos aquí may este May acá, eh, Jaime. May. Ah, okay. ok, May. Y tenemos este otro que era Might. Ah, ok, Might. Ok, um, ¿se recuerda qué significaba cada uno de estos dos? No, no recuerdo. Sí. Ok, ok. Muy bien, Jaime. Eh, ok, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> ok. Uh, good evening, Jorge. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, that's good. Uh, what about you, William? How are you? Very good, teacher. Okay, nice. Cool. Uh, I'm going to try to make a feedback uh, while the rest of the students come to our class. Okay, uh, let's see, Jaime. May, it mean puedo. Puedo. Yep. Okay. Ok. También existe este que se llama Ken. Ah, Ken. Es que sí me recuerdo. Ese sí, right? Ok, pero usted me va a decir, ok, teacher, pero Ken es puedo, right? May también significa puedo. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Pero, what's the difference between both? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ok. La diferencia es simple. Ken... Es para algo normal, común y corriente cuando hablamos con alguien que tenemos confianza. Y may 
es para algo eh, más cortés, más cortés, ¿sí? Eh, el significado básicamente es el mismo, pero eh, este es más formal, may, may. Ah, ok. Ok, por ejemplo, ha escuchado una oración que, que dice, Can I help you? Can I help you? ¿Sí? Sí, can I help you? Ah, can I help you? ¿Puedo ayudarte? Puedo ayudarte. Usted también puede utilizar, may I help you? Ah, oh, okay. may I help you? Ok. Ok, y es más formal. Ok, entonces, might, <coughs> might, en este caso significa lo mismo que estos tres. Solo que este es poco usado. ¿Sí? Es poco usado. Es poco usado. ¿Por qué es poco usado? Porque este might eh, se usa con una probabilidad muy baja. Y si se usa de esa forma, eh, es raro que nosotros vayamos a usar might. Es raro. Pero se usa. Eh, también might significa eh, puedo en pasado. Pude. ¿Yes? Ok. Ok. okay. Y tenemos este otro, a uh, Jaime. Eh, could. 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 Okay. Este could es pasado también de pude hacer algo. Eh, estos dos son pasados. Could y might. Could y might. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? presente? Que este could es más... Cortés significa podría. Cool, podría, ok. Yeah, ok, really good. Ok, take note. Y uh, vamos a practicar. De hecho, en some homeworks that you're going to find on the platform, tienen, tenemos algunas tareas que ustedes las van a encontrar en la plataforma. Ahí vamos a retroalimentar esto, ¿sí? Okay. Espero que ya la hayan hecho. <laughs> I hope so. Ok. okay. Let's see. Eh, entonces, eh, como punto final, May también significa mayo, un mes del año. Ah, ok. Entonces, es importante eh, reconocer esto, Jaime, en ese caso. Y aprovechando que usted fue the first of today class, así que hicimos esa ahí eh, retroalimentación con usted, right? Ok. okay. Gracias, gracias. Ok. Okay, let's see. Good evening. Let's see. Good evening, Jose. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Thanks. Okay, okay, really good. What about you, Fabricio? How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, ready, right? We're going to start with today's class because of the time. Después se nos va el tiempo y les quito 10, 5 eh, minutes more, right? <laughs> okay, let's uh, don't go worry. Today class. Ah, don't worry. Okay, very good. <laughs> I'm going to take it into account, right? Lo voy a tomar en cuenta. Okay, nice. Eh, let's see. Okay, as a warm-up activity, yesterday class, we were talking students about may and might, right? Made in might. Uh, this one, okay. Esto, chicos, básicamente was yesterday class. Era lo que vimos en la clase de ayer. May significaba. What does it mean? Puedo, okay, really good. Puedo, puedo. En this one. En pasado, puedo. Okay, en pasado. Okay, okay, really good. Pude, right? Okay, eh, but what's the difference between both? Que este solo se usa en presente y es más formal que can, más formal. Por ejemplo, teacher, eh, may I ask, ask a question? ¿Puedo hacer una pregunta? May I ask a question? ¿Puedo hacer una pregunta? Usted también puede decir, teacher, can I ask a question? Puedo hacer una pregunta, pero sería menos formal. Yo lo entiendo muy bien, pero eh, in our world, we have to identify eh, the polite words. En nuestro trabajo, tenemos que identificar las palabras 
eh, corteses. Por ejemplo, imagínense que llega un cliente, eh, ¿cómo lo vamos a tratar? ¿Con may o con can? Con may. Con may. may. Yeah, really good with may, right? Okay, nice. But this might is a little bit confused, right? Este might es un poquito así como confuso. Teacher, mire tanto que significa puedo. Así que eh, we're going to see an example about might in, uh, as a feedback, como una retroalimentación. Vamos a ver para qué específicamente se usa, right? Yep. Ok, ready, right? Ok, veamos. <coughs> eh, we're going to use might to suggest a small possibility. Utilizamos este para sugerir una, una posibilidad. Posibilidad pequeña. Yeah, yeah, really good. For example, Fabricio, can you help me to read the example? We might have a party next week. Okay, really good. Uh, what, what does it mean, this one, William? ¿Qué significa? In Spanish. Okay, William, can you turn on the microphone? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, uh, uh, William, see, uh, we understand what William said, right? Because we can read his lip, but, um, okay. Jose Angel, go ahead, Jose Angel, le va a ayudar. Vamos, Jose Angel. El significado en español dice en español. Yeah, yeah, sure. Nosotros tendremos una fiesta la siguiente semana. Ok, nosotros tendremos una... Ok, muy bien, really good. Una fiesta la siguiente semana. That's a competition, right? But in this case, students, we're going to have a party next week. Va, eh, tendremos o podemos tener esa fiesta la semana que viene o la siguiente semana. ¿vale? Pero en este caso, ¿es posible que pase? It's possible to happen. Mm. Es pequeña la pequeña. posibilidad. Que... Yeah, yeah, sure. Es, really como, es como que le estaba diciendo, nosotros podríamos tener una pieza la siguiente semana. Muy bien, really good, Jorge. En este caso ya comprendimos a fondo que might va, va a tener una menor posibilidad porque acá no está diciendo que se va a tener, sino que nosotros podemos tener una fiesta la semana que viene, right? Pero no estamos seguros. Cuando usted escucha, podemos tener, queda en el aire, right? Okay, really good. Uh, we're going to continue with this. Uh, Jorge, eh, as the past 10 of May for request, eh, tenemos este. She has, she has, she has, if she has May. As he, she, may, borrow, pen. Ok, might. 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 Ok, really good. Thank you, eh, Jorge. Ok, eh, right now, in this example, we're going to talk about the past tense. En este ejemplo, vamos a hablar acerca del pasado, right? Porque might también se usa en el pasado. ¿Cómo así? Ella preguntó algo el pasado. Si sí, ella podría prestarle el lapicero. Si sí, ella podría prestarle el lapicero. En este caso, something in the past, right? O si ella pudo prestarle el lapicero. Whatever was made it. Yes. Ok. Uh, and also, as the conditional of me, we're going to use this one. If I enter to the contest, I might win. I might win. Si, en, si, entra, si, uh, si entrase al, al contest, es like a, como el concurso. Si, es, si hubiese entrado al concurso, pude haber ganado. ¿Sí? Pero en este caso la posibilidad es menor y estamos hablando del past tense, right? Yeah, like this. I don't know if you have a question about this, might. Might may. A Wait. question, teacher. Okay, thank you for listening. In the primera. Yeah. 
eh, como, o sea, ahí de might es para pasado, ¿verdad? Ok, ya. Yep. Pero, pero está hablando de la próxima semana, entonces ahí me confundí. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, ok, nice, Fabricio. Sí, es como podría, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, podría es could. Could, en esencia, güey. Right? Sí lo uh -huh. podemos traducir como podría, pero este es más como could. En este caso, might se usa para oath. Pres, y pasado. En presente, ¿cuál es la diferencia con may? Que la posibilidad es más pequeña. Más ah, okay. Y ¿cuál es la diferencia con may? Eh, que él se usa para pasado. ¿Sí? No podemos decir con may algo en pasado, sino que sería con may. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Ok, Fabricio. Thanks, chick. Ok, gracias. Okay. Uh, somebody else got a question about this? Question? Okay, no question, right? Really good. Okay, good evening, Carlos Alfonso. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Very good, very good. Okay, <laughs> nice. Marlon, how are you? Very good, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Uh, Daisy, how are you today? You can turn on the webcam, please. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, thank you. Okay, really good. Thank you, Daisy. Uh, if you can tour on the webcam, gonna be nice. Okay. <laughs> Um, I am um, later. Uh, es, <laughs> no, estoy un poquito así como indispuesta todavía de salud. Lo que pasa es que ayer vine con dolor de mi espalda. Oh, okay, okay. Porque parezco esta columna, entonces por eso no me conecté y me dio pena estar sin poner mi cámara, entonces mejor no me conecté. Oh, okay. Pero ahora me, me aconsejaron que podía estar oyendo la clase. Y aunque estuviera medio incómoda, podía estar en mi clase, ¿verdad? Ok, really good, Daisy. En este caso, Daisy, cuando solo digas your name and with the attendant list, con la lista, dice la activa y me dice, yeah, teacher, I'm here, right? Ok, thank you. <risa> Aquí estoy y, y, y puedo participar, solo que sí, no estoy en una condición <risa> cómoda. Don't worry, Daisy. Ok, eh, Tatiana, good evening. <risa> Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am sick. Ah, you are sick too? Okay. Okay. Um, okay, that's good. Okay, Tatiana, uh, but if you can't, you can tour on the webcam uh, later on. Carlos René, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay. Hello, think. Ah, you are sick too? Hello, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, thanks for being here. You're in a, a hospital, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you can feel better soon, right? Okay. Okay, students, uh, we're going to continue with today's class. Okay, let me see. Uh, this is uh, what's our the warm up for today's class. We were talking about. Uh, Made in might, right? Yesterday class. And right now we're going to continue with unit number two, online orders and rebounds. And today class, we're going to see something really, really important and useful for you. Vamos a ver algo sumamente útil para ustedes, así que please pay full attention to this. Uh, the topic for today class will be, uh, can you help me, Carlos, to read this one? Is world and world like two. Okay, okay, thank you. Really good. Today's topic we're gonna see would and would like to, right? Do you have an idea what's the meaning of this word? The meaning in Spanish would, would, would like to. 
Maria. Maria. Ok, ok. Morales, Fabricia. Thank you. Quisiera y quisiera. Quisiera. Tatiana, again. Quisiera y quisiera. Quisiera, ok. Quisiera. Mm, ok. Thank you, Tatiana. Let's see, students. Basically, this word is uh, really polite. Eh, es muy cortés esta palabra. Would eh, no significa haría, sino que solo el ría. ¿Cómo así? Este would va a modificar todos los verbos que le pongamos a la par. Por ejemplo, eh, have. ¿Qué significa have? Have. Tener. 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 Really good. Entonces, si yo, dije, si yo dijese would have, would have, ¿qué diría? Tendría. Yeah. Yeah. Tendría. O tenía. Tendría, tendría. Eh, si ustedes no. Debería tener. Ok, debería tener. Ok, muy bien. Thank you, Marlon. Eh, <risa> Let's say, would have, tendría. Solo le agregamos ese iría. Right? En otras palabras, va a sonar un poquito como a future tense. Como un tiempo futuro. Ok. Pero eh, dejémoslo aburrido y pasemos a este. Would like to. Would like to. Este sí es genial. ¿Qué significa like? Gustar. 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 Entonces, eh, ¿qué significaría would like? <risa> Me gusta. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Ah, yeah, me really gustaría. Like. Me gustaría. I would like. For example, when you say uh, something really polite, eh, I would like to do something for you. Me gustaría hacer algo por ti. Podremos decirle a alguna chica o la chica a los chicos, right? Whatever. Okay, really good. Eh, right now, we're going to continue with the lesson objective. This is really important. For our classes in Jaime, can you help me to read the first one, please? The specific objective, Jaime Ernesto. Participant. Participant will be able. 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 Do. Riquez Han Respond Do Do Bar Service Yeah, really good. Thank you, Jaime. Nice. Really, really nice work. Okay, right now, uh, William, uh, can you help me with the class objective, please? Okay, teacher. Disculpa el caso anterior que el mouse no me funcionaba y no podía activar el audio. Este... <laughs> Este, el oh, otro sí. Yes. Class objective. At, at the end of the class, participants will be able to know how to use wall and wall like to. Okay, thank you. Really good. Basically, students, today class, we're going to see about bad service. Vamos a ver eh, acerca de en un servicio. Are you right? When you feel annoyed when somebody uh, give you a bad service or a bad product. Cuando se sienten ahí enojados porque alguien le dio un producto que no servía o eh, un mal servicio. And also we're going to see would and would like to. But right now we're going to have uh, something really special. <laughs> It's the attendance. Mm -hmm. okay, here we go. When I say your name, student, you have to uh, say present or, uh, or I am here teacher, right? Okay, go ahead. Uh, Jaime Ernesto Hernández Navarrete. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Jose Martín, okay. Uh, Carlos Enrique Martinez Enoves. Carlos, all right. Okay, Wendy Saray Bonilla Ordóñez. Uh, Jose Ángel Santos Martínez. Ok, 
Okay, Jose Angel Santo Martínez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Yeah, really good. Sorry. Nice. Gabriela Mary Zamora Orellana. Now, Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Carlos Alfonso Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Eh, Fernando eh, de Jesús Roldán Torres. Okay, Carlos mm, Antonio Mejía Hernández. William Alexander Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel Angel uh, Alexander López Crespín. Okay. Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Uh, Rodrigo Alexander. It's not here right now. Uh, Daisy Elizabeth Recino Álvarez. I am here. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Okay. <laughs> Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I am here, teacher. Okay, okay, really good. Uh, Marvin Ernesto Alvaro. Marvin, okay. Uh, Carlos René Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, uh, we're gonna continue with today's class because of the time. So we're gonna have uh, useful words during our class, right? We're gonna see useful words. Okay, uh, somebody have an idea what is this? What's the meaning of this word? Mm -hmm. How do you say this, this word? In English. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Fabricio. Now in English. The two. That two. <laughs> okay, this one you can say due to, due to. Due to, right? It sounds weird, but you're going to say like this due to, debido a. Thank you, Fabricio. Really good. Right now, we're going to jump. Uh, who got the idea of what the meaning of this word? Petition. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Carlos. Petition, solicitud. Okay, yeah, una solicitud, really good. Uh, how do you say this one in English? How do you say this one? Request. Request, yes. Really nice, thank you. Okay, request, right? Una solicitud de queja o una solicitud de cualquier otra cosa. Okay, pero estas son más comunes de quejas. Así que, uh, give it my request. At the end, we're going to have this one. Eh, who knows how to say this word in English? Merchandises. Okay, Tatiana, thank you, more or less. Uh, merchandise. 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 Yeah. What's the meaning of this word? Mercancía. Okay, yeah, really good. Mercadería o mercancía. Ahí puede ser cualquiera de, de la mercadería o mercancía. Ustedes, eh, okay. <coughs> We're going to repeat it again due to request. Okay, uh, no problem with this word. You don't have any problem? Okay, okay Jose Angel, uh, this one uh, you can say debido a. Okay. Thank you. Okay, due to request merchandise. Okay, uh, right now we're gonna start with wood, with like, with like wood. 
uh, remember students to be polite with the customer. All the time you have to be polite. Recuerden ser corteses con el customer. ¿Quién es el customer? Cliente. Cliente. Ok, let's see. Uh, what? What? I'm going to try to show you something really, really easy with this. Se le voy a explicar de esta forma. Would, el solito, no significa nada. ¿Sí? Would, usted lo va a ver ahí, no significa nada. But, si nosotros le ponemos un verbo a la par, uh, for example, buy, what is buy? Okay. Uh, would buy. Diría literalmente. Compraría. Ella compraría. El mismo maquillaje. El mismo maquillaje. Yeah, really good. And in English, how do you say this? She will buy the same makeup. Yeah, thank you, Carlos. Nice. Good job. Okay, in other words, students, would no significa nada. Recuérdenlo. Pero si nosotros ponemos un verbo a la par, Va a alterarlo con ese ría que me dijo Fabricio. Ría. R-I-A. R-I-A. Right. Okay, really good. Hey, good evening, Gabriela. How are you today? Good evening. I'm tired. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, but, but you, you don't look tired. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you understand this part? ¿Se comprende? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Would no significa nada, pero si le ponemos un verbo, eh, este no significaría solo comprar, sino compraría. Algo un poco más cortés, aunque suene como que es futuro. Así. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the most uh, formal way to say something or ask for something to be polite. En este caso, chicos, este would like. Es lo más común que ustedes van a escuchar. Entonces, esto sí tienen que manejarlo. You know, uh, in the best way. Ok, would like. Would like. Like, it's me. Gustar. Yeah. Gustar. Entonces, would, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué significaría junto? What does it mean? Bueno, yo no sé qué es. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Sería que... En el antiguo Egipto, me gustaría, todo me gustaría. Uh, let's see this. Uh, Gabriela, can you help me to read the, the, the example, please? Okay. She would like the same makeup. Okay, thank you. As you see, students, uh, the first sentence said, ella eh, compraría el mismo maquillaje. En esta otra, dice, eh, traducido al español, a ella le gustaría el mismo maquillaje. Ok, really good. ¿Cuál suena más cortés o más interesante? Ajá. ¿Ella compraría el maquillaje? Would uh, like. Would like, right? A ella le gustaría comprar el mismo maquillaje. Este convence más, right? Why? Because this is a little bit uh, polite. Este es más polite que este. Okay, would like. Ahora veamos eh, this one. Would like to. What does it mean with this? Uh, how come? Let's see. Veamos esto. Si ustedes notan es lo mismo, me gustaría, pero tiene una T.O. Esta partícula que ustedes ven acá nos va a indicar que acá va a seguir otro verbo, another verb, right? For example, eh, William, can you help me? She would like to buy the same makeup. Makeup, right? Yes, thank you, William. Okay, eh, William, eh, continue help me with this. Can you translate it into Spanish? Ella le gustaría comprar el... Eso no sé qué significa. Ah, el, el polvo para la cara. Ok, ok. Uh, el maquillaje. 
But yeah, it's real. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you, William. Okay, students, as you see here, cuando tenemos este to, ¿qué sucede? Otro verbo. We're going to find another verb, right? He would like to buy. A ella le gustaría comprar. Podría, podría ser que, eh, as an example, a Gabriela le gustaría ir al cine. Okay. Ese ir, tenemos que agregarlo, sería con este to. Gabriela would like to go to the movies, right? Entonces, eh, what's the difference between both? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de estos dos? Que si vemos esta partícula to, vamos a agregar otro verbo, right? Pero significa exactamente lo mismo. Yep, you got it? Yes. Yes, really good. Okay, questions? You got a question? Jaime, questions? No question. Okay, okay, really good. It's clear like a chocolate, right? Uh, right now, we really need it. <laughs> okay, nice. Continue with this. Right now, I'm gonna finish to explain uh, how, to, how to use wood. Okay, uh, the form, the sentence with wood, we're gonna find this. Basicamente, tenemos la fórmula de utilizar ese wood like. Veamos acá, we get the positive, tenemos la positive, negative and questions. Positiva, negativa y la pregunta. Ok, really good. We're going to start with the positive. La positiva, básicamente, cuando nosotros decimos something positive. For example, eh, let's see, eh, Marlon, can you help me to read this? I like a lace lips. Okay, please. Okay. I like a slice. Slice. Of okay, okay, yeah. Thank you, Marlon. Really good. Okay, uh, as you see, Marlon uh, said this word in a really good way. Me gustó como lo dijo Marlon. Acá en este caso, eh, si ustedes notan, no decimos I would like. Acá se contrae. Y esto cómo va a sonar? Ya no va a sonar el I puro, sino que va a sonar I. 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 I like. I. Yeah. We gonna hear the the a uh, short D, right? I like. I like. Okay. Uh, let's see another example here. Okay. Uh, continue, Marlon. I don't like to go. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Daisy, uh, can you help me? Hey, hello. Yeah, can you help me to read this one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm really would like. I like to go on a vacation. On a vacation, right? Yes, really good. Thank you, Daisy. Okay, in this case, you can say I would like, or you can say I like. It's optional, right? Es optional. Ustedes pueden utilizar la forma extensa o la forma corta. I would like, or solo I'd like. I. Yes. Okay, we're gonna jump to the negative. What we're gonna happen with the negative wave of wood? Eh, solo agregamos not. Wood, not. Right? Pero si ustedes quieren contractarlo, es como ustedes lo van a escuchar, se dice wouldn't. 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 Yeah. Okay, for example, we get this example. Eh, Fabricio, help me to read the first one. He wouldn't like an expensive bar. Okay, yeah, really good. Thank you. A ella no le gustaría eh, una, una, una cartera. Una cartera muy cariñosa, right? Okay, que es mentira. Okay, that's me. Costosa. <laughs> yeah, costosa. Really good. Ya sabemos que a las ladies eh, le gustan las expensive cars, right? Las carteras. Muy... Okay. 
Uh, continue with this one, uh, Gabriela. Can you help me to read the negative? Okay. You wouldn't like to make him angry. Angry. Okay, angry, angry, yes. Okay, really good. Uh, I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hungry. Okay, hungry is, you know, tener hambre, right? Pero en ese caso sería. Sí, hungry. Yeah. Hungry. Angry. Okay, hungry and angry. Angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, angry. Angry. Okay, angry, yes. Like an angry bird. Mm -hmm. Como los pájaros enojados, aquellos que, que son muy famosos. Okay, really good. Uh, okay, right now we're going to jump to the questions part. Uh, para formular una pregunta con what, básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es change the position, right? Cambiar la posición. El would va a ir al inicio del pronombre. Uh, for example, would you like an apple? ¿Te gustaría una? Manzana. Yeah, yeah, really good. Uh, uh, in the last one that we have, it says, Tatiana, can you help me to read it, please? Tatiana, Yvonne, are you there? Aquí. Okay. Okay, I think Tatiana go to buy. Well, okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, you can do it. Can you help me read this one? Es que no la puedo ver porque me cubre la pantallita de abajo. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, I'm gonna read. Oh, good. Would you? Ah, está. Ya. Would you like to go oh. swimming next sí. week? Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Okay, as you see, students, basically, if you want to ask something, just you're gonna change the position. No tiene agüita, bien. Si quieren eh, hacer esta pregunta, solo cambiamos la posición, right? Because water, we don't have water. I'm sorry, Daisy. <laughs> okay, aquí solo cambiamos la posición de wood, right? Eh, va a ir al inicio para que sea una pregunta. Es lo mismo que hemos visto en otras clases anteriores. Eh, es importante que ustedes aprendan a preguntar, valga la redundancia, con wood, porque con wood es mucho más easy your life, right? You're gonna be polite, you're gonna be professional, and customer or your boss, eh, when he or she here, when you speak English, you're gonna sound a little bit better, right? Si utilizamos wood, nos vamos a escuchar más formales y más profesionales. Así que, eh, I would like to invite you to use wood. For example, imagine if you want to say, uh, would you like to go with me? ¿Te gustaría ir conmigo? Podría ser uh, ver una peli o algo, right? Es algo más formal, hay una cortesía, un respeto. Okay, really good. Question about this? Do you have questions? So, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. What's the difference between I want to and uh, would like? Okay, okay, would like. Okay, what's the difference? The difference is easy, uh, Jorge. Want, it means something else. Want significa algo más. Yo quiero. Eh, tenemos el tú que solo nos indica que va a ir otro verbo a la par. Por ejemplo, yo quiero ir, eh, ¿a dónde? ¿A dónde diríamos? Yo quiero ir al parque. Diríamos, I want to go to the park. Yes. Ok, entonces yo quiero ir al parque. Es un desire, un deseo. Yes. Y con el would, la diferencia es que usted diría, I would like to go to the park. Me gustaría ir al parque. El otro es algo que usted, una emoción que siente por el momento. Y el con want es un deseo. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. More or less. <laughs> okay, Jorge, <right>, it's clear. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. <laughs> One, two. A question, teacher. 
Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Este, si puede este, repetir cómo se pronuncia la contracción. Eh, hay. Yeah. Hay. O oh, la ID, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ah. No alcancé a escuchar bien. Ok. This one. This one, right? Uh, you sí, can. Yes. Yeah. ID. 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 Yeah, yeah, like this. Tiene ese pequeño refrán con la D. Tiene ese pequeño frenito con la D. ID. ID like. Sí. Ok. Y si usted no puede decirlo, dice, ah, me confundo, dígalo completo. I would like. Yes? Sí. Ok, the yes. example. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Uh, we, we have this verb. Ok. Ok, uh, we're going to have this. Tenemos estos dos verbos. Okay, let's see this. Want y would like. Want to. Eh, era la pregunta que me hacía Jorge. Okay, I'm going to try to explain you this in Spanish. Eh, want significa querer. ¿sí? Yo quiero comer, yo quiero dormir, teacher, yo quiero aprender inglés. Cualquier cosa de que usted quiera hacer. Entonces usted va a utilizar want. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? El want es un deseo que usted tiene. Teacher, I want to go to sleep right now. Right? Yo quiero ir a dormir. Es un deseo, pero no se puede, right? Ya tenemos un compromiso y, y ni modo. Okay. Entonces, pero es diferente que usted me diga would like, que es me gustaría. Teacher, I would like to go to sleep right now. Mire, teacher, me gustaría irme a dormir ahorita. Eh, esta es como una emoción que usted siente, pero lejos de ser una emoción, eh, es, usted está expresando algo que usted piensa. Eh, me gustaría irme a la cama ahorita. Eh, se escucha bonito. Me gustaría darle permiso, pero no se puede tampoco. Entonces, en este caso, es quiero. Y would like es me gustaría. ¿Sí, Jorge? Entonces, acá sería eh, dos significados diferentes. Quiero ir a dormir y me gustaría irme a dormir. ¿Sí? Eh, la diferencia es básicamente que significa, eh, son dos cosas con diferentes significados, right? Ok. Eh, eh, I don't know, Jorge, if it's clear. Yeah, more or less. Ok, let's get it. Uh, later on, I'm going to try to show you some more examples about this. But right now, because of the time, we're going to continue with today's class, right? Okay. Um, no questions, right? Okay, we're going to jump to this. As you see, Jorge, <laughs> para que vean que sí pienso ahí en Jorge, que siempre me hace preguntas ahí. <laughs> Jorge, what did you say, right? <laughs> uh, acá, we get this, right? I'm thirsty. What is I'm thirsty? Thirsty. Thirsty. Sediento. Sediento, yeah, thank you. Cuando usted está sediento, usted puede decir, eh, this one, eh, can you help me to read it, Carlos René? I want a glass of water. Okay, thank you. And the second one? I would like a glass of water. Okay, thank you. Okay, as you see here, basically, los dos están expresando que tienen sed, right? Aquí los dos están sedientos. Este dice, yo quiero un vaso de agua. Yo quiero un vaso de agua. Y esta nos dice, me gustaría. Me gustaría un vaso de agua, right? ¿Cuál se escucha más normal? Más educado el segundo. Yeah, yeah. Más educado el segundo. Más sin embargo, want to expresa que usted quiere un vaso de agua. Eh, así como un poco más tonto. Entonces, would like más educado. Ahí le dejan el fíjano. Ok, really good. Entonces, as you see, right? 
como mencionamos anteriormente, es, es lo mismo, podrían tener design meaning, el mismo significado en cuestión de contexto, pero este es more polite, más This. cortés, really yeah. good. Entonces ustedes dicen, ah, me dice Jorge, pero teacher, ¿sí? ¿por cuál uso entonces? Eh, Jorge, si es con alguien muy, que usted va a tener mucho respeto, para mí, I suggest to use I would like. ¿Sí? Si es así con, con los amigos, así con el yeah, I want to, porque usted sabe que hay confianza, right? Yeah. Ok, continue with this. Eh, we're going to have some examples in order to understand this. Así que, eh, please be ready. Tenemos would and would like to. Solo would, ¿qué significa? Nada. Nada. Nada, right? Pero si ponemos el verbo a la par, lo va a alterar. Por ejemplo, change es cambiar. Aquí diría... Cambiaría este producto. Ok, yeah, really good. I would change this product. Cambiaría este producto, right? Thank you. Ok, en este caso, would buy. Compraría. 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 Él compraría. There again. Ahí de nuevo. Ahí otra vez. Él compraría ahí otra vez. Ajá. Yes, really Entonces, nótese cómo eh, altera este mundo. Ok, muy bien. Eh, in this case, we're going to see the negative way. We wouldn't stay in this place. Nosotros. No estaríamos en este lugar. Yeah, thank you, Tatiana. No estaríamos. Stay. Eso dice And the question, would you give me your information? Es give. Pero si lo fue. Dar. Yeah. Debo preguntar. Es procedimiento. Tú me darías información. Podrías dar mi información. Ojo, en este caso, estudiantes, vamos a ir a jump to would and would like to. Would solo modifica el verbo. Decíamos, ¿verdad? Y would like es me gustaría. Si llega el to, ¿cómo modifica el verbo? Me gustaría. 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 Lleva ahí un verbo. Yes, pretty good. ¿Esta es la vergüenza de él? Tan solo mira su foto de clase tradicional masculina. Puros temas náuticos. Ok, ok. Pero a las cinco y media nos vamos a ir, vale. No son la elección de un adolescente. Ok, I would like to change this product. Me gustaría cambiar este producto. Me gustaría cambiar este producto. Thank you. Ok, then we're going to have would like to buy. Ajá. Imagina que una foto de él con su madre. Él compraría ahí otra vez. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Me gustaría, bro. Comprar ahí otra vez. Me gustaría comprar ahí otra vez. Yeah, yeah. Really good. If you see a student right here, we're going to see the difference. Que solo would si tenemos solo would, solo va a modificar el verbo a ese día, right? Como que si fuese un futuro, pero en este caso estamos hablando de cortesía. But in this case, when we're going to see would like to, cuando vemos este would like to, es me gustaría. Lo que sea que le van a agregar. Ok, good. Good evening, Rodrigo. How are you? Hi, teacher. Ok. Okay, nice. Uh, we're going to continue with today's class. And right now, we're going to uh, listen something really special for you, right? But don't worry. Today's class will be a little bit easier than before. Estará más fácil que la otra veces. No se preocupen. Este audio me encantó. It's really nice. This audio is going to talk about a Food again. So please full attention to this. Here we go, right? Okay. 
Vamos a escuchar este audio. Este creo que sí lo van a entender completito a la primera. Ok, aquí vamos. Hello, this is the front desk, test speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order room service. Okay, what can I get for you? Well, okay, I'd like to order a grilled chicken sandwich, okay. some fries, and a small salad. Okay, what kind of dressing? Okay, well, I'll, how about ranch? But I'd like it on the side. Okay, on the side. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah, how about a glass of orange juice? Okay, large or small? Well, let's, let's go with uh, a large. Okay. And what room are you in? I'm in, I'm in, let's see, <laughs> I can't remember. Oh yeah, I'm in room 640. And your name? It's James. All right. And, uh, oh yeah, how long will it take? Oh, it shouldn't be more than about 30 minutes. Okay, and, okay, well, what time is it now? 6.45. Okay, all right, thank you. Perfect. Okay, really good, you got it, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, um, please. Yeah, sure. What, what did you understand? A word. Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Okay. sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Please a small salad. A small salad. Okay, really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay, students, I don't know what, what happened today, but uh, everybody understands sandwich. Creo que es esta hora. Yo sé que dan ganas de seguir, you know, eating. <laughs> but we're going to try to listen again, but before we're going to uh, identify this um, sentences, right? Okay, en este caso, el hombre ordena un lo que escucharon, papa fritas en una ensalada pequeña. Ok, aquí están las options. Yo sé que ya tienen la palabra eh, correcta. Así que voy a jump to this. What drink or beverage, que es lo mismo, does the meal order? Ordenó el uh, a, gla uh, a glass de Un vaso de leche. Okay, okay, ya vamos a ver qué orden. No, okay, the man is in room. ¿En qué cuarto está este chico? 640. Okay, okay, really good. What's his name? James. 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 Uh -huh. 7.30. 7.30. 7.30. Okay, okay, okay. Really? okay, students, we're going to listen again. Eh, este audio es cortito y creo que sí se entiende todo. Ustedes lo entendieron todo, así que vamos a... We're going to play it again. Please listen to this audio. Here we go. Hello, this is the front desk, test speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order room service. Okay, what can I get for you? Well, okay, I'd like to order a grilled chicken sandwich, okay. some fries, and a small salad. Okay, what kind of dressing? Okay, well, I'll, how about ranch? But I'd like it on the side. Okay, on the side. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah, how about a glass of orange juice? Okay, large or small. Well, let's let's go with uh, a large. Okay. And what room are you in? I'm in. I'm in. Let's see. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh yeah, I'm in room 640. And your name? It's James. All right. And uh, oh yeah, how long will it take? Oh, it shouldn't be more than about 30 minutes. Okay. And okay. Well, what time is it now? 6:45. Okay. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Very good. Eh, veo las caritas ahí un poco más contentos. Creo que sí se comprendió un poco más. Ok, we're going to start uh, to answer this answer, right? The first one, the men's order, what? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. 
Ok, ok. El sándwich really famous, right? Famoso ahí, así que le damos a la Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what drinks? Some juice. orange juice. Some 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 orange juice. Okay. Okay. And this one, what's in the band's name? James. James. Imagino que no fue Archie quien lo decoró. No, ese fue Rick, el típico homofóbico. El gerente le dijo que parara, pero gente como él. Somebody is watching next, right? That's good. <laughs> okay, uh, now we're gonna jump to the last one. It says uh, about when will the hotel deliver the men's food? ¿Cuánto tiempo se va a llevar el 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 Deliver. Uh -huh. Twenty minutes, dijo, pero. Twenty minutes. <laughs> okay, twenty minutes, right? Eh, Se recuerdan la hora que dijo que tenía. What time is it? And the lady said. Six forty-five. Yeah, yeah. Very good, Jorge. Uh, so if the deliver gonna take about 30 minutes more, ¿qué hora serían? Y si no te importa, le diría a Choque vaya. Archie trabajaba en la tienda y tengo una pista uh -huh. que quiero seguir en la oficina. Siete quince. Seven fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Ahí está. Cuando está procesado, todo el rollo fue tomado. Gracias. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Sure. Congratulations. Right. Vamos a tirar un momento. Súper ahí, ¿no? Pues usted. Ok. Ok, muy bien. Eh, as you see, students, uh, we were talking about hotel. And you got five out of five. Ahora sí sacaron tres con todo. I really like it. Eh, así que eh, ya no les pongo otro audio for this moment because you are really, really great students. Ok, nice. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna continue with today's class. And right now we're gonna go to this one. Okay, let me. Okay. And we're gonna read the following refund form. Se recuerda que estábamos hablando de las requests, de las solicitudes, de algunas quejas. In this case, uh, we're gonna see some examples. Vamos a ver. De, de esto. Ok, o devolución. Veamos acá. Eh, in this side, student, you're gonna find the uh, important, relevant information about the, uh, the company, right? In this case, will be Waterlux Inc. Ok, we're gonna have a special note. Vamos a tener unas notas especiales. For example, eh, Fabricio, help me to read the first one. Not. Uh, please not water looks. Customer satisfaction warranty is 90 uh, days from date of purchase. Yeah, thank you, thank you for this question. Okay, in this case, uh, guys, this company basically esa compañía va a dar 90 días de garantía desde la fecha que se okay uh, but first let me see yeah, 
And yeah. Okay, number two, um, Marvin. Number two, uh, retain copying of your records and close the original with the merchandise. Merchandise. Mer merchandise. Yeah, thank you. Okay, in this case, uh, basically when we ask for a refund, refund, it means una devolución. Cuando pedimos una devolución por un mal servicio o un bad product, tenemos que mantener una ticket right? Copia. Yeah, yeah, una copia o el original, si es posible, eh, of the merchandise, de la mercadería que no funcionó. Okay, number three. Uh, okay, number three, Rodrigo. Um, use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All item return will, will require the original order number recorded on the form so credit can be processed. Okay, really good. Thank you, Rodrigo. In this case, uh, basically, uh, we're going to use one line per item. Vamos a utilizar solo una por item, right? O por artículo. Es decir, no podemos llegar con una factura que solo compramos una cosa y metemos dos, right? And in this case, it's going to be like this. Okay, then we're going to find an stock details. Vamos a encontrar un dato importante acerca de este stock. Eh, in this case, uh, we're going to find the recent code, eh, algún código que tiene una empresa, eh, item number, el, el número con el que se cuantificó, quantity, la cantidad de ese producto que se compró, the date of push, this is really important, to know the date of push, the order number, and the relevant reasons. In this case, uh, what's happened with the product? Uh -huh. What does it mean, missing part? Partes perdidas. Y yeah, a partes perdidas, entonces, ¿qué pasó con esa mercadería? Iba incompleta, right? So that's why uh, this person is asking for a refund. Es la razón por la que se está pidiendo una devolución. Okay, really good. That's really important. In this case, uh, basically, he's asking for a dissatisfaction of the product, right? Está consultando porque quedó insatisfecho acerca de ese producto. Okay, really good. Okay, um, this is like a sample of a reform form. Este es como un ejemplo de un eh, formulario de reembolso. But right now, the most important point that we're gonna hear, see here is to answer these questions. Lo más importante que me interesa de esto es contestar estas preguntas. Ok. Veamos. We got the first ones. Ok. What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Ok. Number one. Missing parts. Missing parts. Really good. That is the reason. Nice. Thank you, Fabricio. The second one. Will the customer get a refund? Yes or not? Uh -huh. ¿Al cliente le gustaría eh, obtener su reembolso? Yes or not? Uh -huh. Yes. 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 And why? ¿Por qué? The product is complete. Yeah, the product is complete. Missing part. Missing part. What else? Consumer deception. Okay, okay. And that's an action movie, I think. <laughs> okay, very good. 
Okay, uh, we get the two questions right. The reason is the missing part, uh, the customer get a refund because it got a dissatisfaction and something like this. Okay, but right now, uh, we're gonna jump to this. We have to complete the following statement on questions. Okay, uh, this one, the students, basically, we're gonna complete these oraciones or preguntas. Okay, uh, in this case, we're gonna ask to one of you, and you have to think about the complement of one of these sentences, right? Pónganle un complemento, si es pregunta, le van a tener que poner un complemento. Así que, you're going to have one minute to think, try to read it, and understand this. In one minute, I'm going to ask you a name, and you have to complete these sentences. En un le pregunto, y tienen que complementarme eh, esas eh, oraciones o preguntas. Ok, go ahead, one minute. Read it, please. Okay. Don't work. Thirty seconds. Okay. Okay. Ready, right? Okay. We're gonna start with the first one. Uh, okay. Uh, somebody who helped me to complete the first one. A volunteer, recuerden que el primero siempre le toca lo más fácil. Okay. I I would like to. I would like to. I would like to. Pongámosle un complemento. Whatever you want. I would like to um to sleep. Ah, you would like to sleep. Okay, Daisy. <laughs> <Really. laughs> Okay, uh, number two. Number two. Well, one question. Help me with number two. Okay, number two. Hey, Carlos, thank you, Carlos Alfonso. You can do it. Is Mr. Trujillo Woolman? Would a coffee cup. Okay, wouldn't? Wouldn't a coffee cup. Okay, okay. Okay, pretty no, good. No sé. Okay, Carlos. In this case, uh, ¿se recuerdan que would, el solito? No, nada. Drink. Sería drink. Drink a coffee cup. Wouldn't like to drink a coffee cup. Yeah, yeah, like this. Okay. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, we're gonna okay. jump to number three. Number three. Who wants to help me? Okay. Uh, let me see. Tatiana. Go ahead, Tatiana. Um, well, would she like yeah. to bring milk? Okay, okay, would you like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good, thank you. <laughs> okay, nice, good job. Hey, number four, Marvin. Number four, uh, we'd like to hit pizza. Okay, okay, really good. Thank you, Marvin. I'm really hungry when you say pizza. Thank you, that's good. <laughs> really nice. Okay, students, as you see, uh, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game. We're going to play Worthy. In lugar de wood. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, thank you. And number six. Centro. 
It's the same. It's the same, right? Yes. Good. Yeah, thank you. Really good. Okay, students, eh, eso es solo para ver si estaba poniendo atención. Eh, ya era parte ahí de, of the class, right? <laughs> okay, right now we're going to work in group. And what you're going to do here is the next things, right? Okay, you have to write five line paragraph about what you would like to do in case a customer want to refund due to a bad service or product he or she support. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Hemos visto el uso de would, right? Pueden ustedes utilizar would con cualquier verbo. Also, you can use would like. Pueden unirlo con like, que es lo más cortés. Me gustaría eh, o me encantaría. En este caso, ¿qué van a hacer? Van a hacerme un párrafo de cinco líneas. Si pueden hacerlo más grande, sería mejor. Y el párrafo tiene que ser referido acerca de un reembolso, de un mal servicio, de un producto en específico, right? Ok. Eh, in this case, you have to write some sentences about bad service, right? Van a escribir cinco eh, líneas acerca de un mal servicio, de cualquier producto que quieran. But you're going to work in group. Pero vamos a trabajar en grupo para que vean Ok, here we go. You got it, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Ok, go ahead, practice each other. Try to help the ones who didn't understand how to write something. And you can do it. Go ahead. And write a paragraph using would like or would or wouldn't or would like to. Okay, go ahead. Also, you can ask questions with would. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, Jose Angel Santo. Yeah. Uh, What's going on? You have to answer. Sí, uh, perdón, no, no, no. No entendí la pregunta. Ok, eh, José Ángel, you have to work in groups. Y tienen que escribir un párrafo de algo que ustedes están quejando utilizando would like. Ok. Que no me gustó, que sí me gustó, todo lo demás. Ok, go ahead. Eh, I'm gonna... You have to accept the invitation to the group, right? Okay. <laughs> Hello. You got an internet problem? Hello. <laughs> Okay, what's going on, Mary? Se me trabó Zoom. Ah, really? Okay, don't worry. I'm going to, uh, to add the group. Okay, go ahead, Gabriela. José Ángel, eh, acepte la invitación para entrar al grupo asignado. Please.
Hello, hello. Hola, 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 teacher. ¿Cómo vamos a ir? Por ahí estamos ahorita. Hemos recogido el teléfono. Okay. teléfono con la empresa de Tigo. Ok, ok, really good. If you have applications, I'm going to be here, right? Continue. Ok, ahí estamos. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Eh, William, tú vas a escribir en la pantalla para ver la para ver lo que estamos haciendo. ¿Cómo? Puedes escribir tú en la pantalla y solo lo, lo que estamos escribiendo. Eh, sí, digamos, quiero ver. A ver si puedo. Ahorita. Se lo voy a. En el chat se lo voy a mandar. Va, está bueno. ¿Cómo son dos? Sí, sí, sí. No, no sería okay, ahí. Sería, sería it. It's uh, the, uh -huh. ambos. Uh -huh. Buscan. Buscan. <risa> la hemorragia de ideas. Okay, that's good. <risa> Cuando nos referimos a dos teléfonos, no están funcionando, lo ocupamos siempre con el sujeto it. No, ahí sería they. 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 They eh, se dice que es solo para personas, pero en este caso it no tiene ningún plural. Así que o decimos they are not working, eh, ellos no están funcionando. No, no, no. Decimos both, both phones are not working. Mm -hmm. Both. Both. B-O-T-H. Yes? Okay, you're okay, welcome. Continue working. If you've got a question, I'm going to be here. If you have more questions, I'm going to be here. You can ask me, right? Uh, both, eso es, ambos. Ambos, yes, both. Um, oh, okay. Ambos teléfonos no funcionan. Y, por ejemplo, con pre, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Both. 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 I, bought a, I bought a phone. I bought a phone. Okay. Next. <laughs> Prime video. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Fabricio. Fabricio said that uh, the, uh, his son is watching TV, right? Can I have a phone, huh? Netflix. Netflix. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pacific, huh? Ah, okay. He's just so good, he's got a lot of volume on the phone. Okay, don't worry. No, pero parece que le quite el audio por rato. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, students, uh, continue working. I'm going to go to another group. Okay, bye. That's okay. nice work. Yeah. Por lo que presento. Ah, bueno. Devolución, por lo que represento devolución. Sí, 
de evolución del producto. Hoy. Toma. So I present a return of the product. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Van cabales de cinco. Sí. Okay. We, si lo queremos hacer como no más like. amable o más, si lo queremos hacer como más amable o más formalito, dear sirs, eh, estimados señores. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you have a questions. Questions. Creo que ya estamos listos. Y eh, eh, solo algo ahí, este, ya este producto, ¿dónde lo habíamos adquirido? Dear Search eh, Omnisport. Omnisport. Okay. Señores Omnisport. Okay. Omnisport. Okay. Señores Omnisport. Okay, very nice. Okay, uh... Continue working. I'll be back in a minute. Regreso un instante, chicos. You're gonna be the first one. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I am the art on. Como, pues, antes de, ah, yo quiero mi mi refund, tal vez. I would like that. Ajá. Después, ¿cómo se llama? De, I don't like the aroma, eh, y ponemos lo demás. Ah, ya es cierto, es cierto, aquí sería. Porque uh -huh. estaba aquí. Ajá, estaba aquí. Oh, correcto. I would, I would like the, the refund. Ajá, está bien así. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How's it going? <laughs> ¿Cómo está yendo todo por ahí? Yeah. Peleando con esto. <laughs> con el Woody, el... Los verbos. Ok, ok, that's good. Don't worry. Ten, yo tengo, y serían cinco, como cinco oraciones, teacher, o sería un párrafo con cinco líneas. Uh, a paragraph with fine line. Es de... Un párrafo. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. ¿Nuestra experiencia como cliente o nuestra experiencia como, como, como vendedor? Ok, both. You can use both. Pueden usar ambos. Ok. Whatever you okay. want. Ahorita no sé, ahorita lo hemos hecho como el grupo, es de esta manera, no sé si estará bien. Uh, let me see. Ok, yeah, yeah, sure, it's good. It's good, but you have to uh, you have to put commas, right? Uh, because as you said here, yesterday I, I bought a new fragrance in the new website. The government va ir unido acá arriba. Ajá, sí, se lo Okay. Ahí para que trabaje menos, right? Government. Yeah, sure. Like this. La nueva página gubernamental. Yeah. Okay, very good. Everything is fine. Okay. Okay, okay very good. Okay, students, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go to the another group. Okay, continue working. That's good. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Are you Hello. Ready? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, nice. If you're ready, students, you can start. Go ahead. Tatiana, present. There's Mr. Only for. We would, uh, we would like to report a problem in our refrigerator and we would like to return it due to a problem with the electrical system. So I present a return of the product. Okay, really. nice. Okay, nice, thank you. Uh, everybody work, right, in the paragraph? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, very good, congratulations. You did it really, really nice, I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, partners. <laughs> okay, in this group, uh, we got two students that are six, right, so that's why uh, they are through of the webcam. Están enfermitas, así que por eso que tienen la cámara apagada, right? <laughs> Ay, sorry, sorry, no, no me había fijado que estaba afuera, pero igual es que estoy como medio dolida. Ay, yeah, I know, don't worry. Le agradecemos okay. a su esfuerzo. That's, um, you know, it's make me feel happy. <laughs> Gracias, sí. Gracias, sí. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you guys. I'll be back in a minute. Ya vi el video, teacher. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, muy bien. Vean el video ahí siempre y este, comenten el, y discussion. Gracias, okay. thank you. ¿Por qué lo quisieran cambiar? Sería. Ahí le ponen, podría poner otra marca. Hello, hello, you finish? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. Hello, teacher. Ahorita, teacher. Okay, okay. Quiero ver si fue. Ahí lo ve. Ya, yeah, sure. Ahí está. Yes. Eso es lo que habíamos, habíamos puesto. Necesita bien así, teacher. Ya, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Necesito escuchar al menos dos de ustedes. Vaya, este, si quiere inicio yo. Ok, go ahead, William. Thank you. Vaya. Tío Shop Company. Yeah. I would like to get my money back. For the reason that the cell phone I buy has problems with the camera and the audio. I have already reported customer service and I still have no answer. I also have that I have for signal service for calls and internet. Okay, really nice. Thank you, William. Really no, teacher, y después, o que siga Carlos y después yo. Okay, okay. okay. Carlos, por favor. Bueno, bueno. Tigo Shop Company. I would like to get my money back for the reason that the cell phone I buy has problems with the camera and the audio. I have already report customer service service and I still have no answer. I also add that I have full signal service for calls and the internet. Okay, yeah, very good. Okay. Thank you. company, I am going live to get me money back for the reasons that the cell phone by us problem with the camera and the audio and have already report some service and 
Um, I think how? No. As well. Okay. Also, under I have for civil service for car and internet. And internet, yes, really good, nice. Okay, good, uh, really nice work. I like it. Uh, me gustó esta, esta paragraph porque fue corto y preciso. Okay, really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are not working. Yeah, we want to we want refund because we are going to buy others. Don't worry, we we are going to change to change team. You have you have warranty still. We would like to know if you are going to give us the same phone or we can choose the Choose others. I would like to the change tense because Samsung is better. Yeah, you can boot the phone. Has to be the the same cost. Okay, let's do it. Okay, really nice, really nice work. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> okay. Eh, ok, nice. Eh, me gustó la forma en la que señalaron quién, quiénes iban ahí. <laughs> really good. Ok, the paragraph is excellent, students. You are the, uh, one of the best group. Thank you. Ok, really nice. Thank you. I'm going to go to another group. And I see you in a minute. Ok, teacher. No le pregunto. Dice estar satisfecho por. Because yesterday. Bye. Entonces, eso sería del vendedor. Y ahí le ponemos al. Ahí sería el vendedor. El Sales Men, es verdad. Sales Men. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Unido o separado, creo que va unido. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. okay, are you ready, guys? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. go ahead. <laughs> Pero vamos a repetir porque somos cuatro. Sí, claro. Van a ir dos, dos primero, dos primero, dos primero. Ajá. Este, ¿Quién empieza? Comencemos. Vaya, si quieres empiezo yo. Vaya. Al lado del customer. Francis okay. Store. The customer says this is fine, this is this is fine because yesterday I was a new fragrance in the new website the government but when i recite the merchandise i didn't don't like the aroma it would be broken it would be, be empty i would like the refund okay salesman i will ask question about the reason the customer be dissatisfied the i will reveal the police policies relative to the case Else, else, I will recommend the possible alternative to the client, and I, I will evaluate if there is any other way to compensate, compensate, compensate to the customer. <laughs> the customer, yeah, really good, nice. Hoy, Jorge, creo que va Jorge. No, ya, yo fui primero. Yo voy, yo voy con customer ahora. Okay. And the customer says this is dissatisfied because yesterday I bought a new fragrance in the new website, the government. But when I received merchandise, I did not like the aroma. It could be broken, it could be empty, it could like the phone. Okay, nice. Okay, okay. okay. I am on the woman. 
I would ask question about the reason the customer be dissatisfied. Then I would review the policy qualities relative yeah. to the case. Also, I would recommend recommend the possible the possible alternatives to the client, and I do I would evaluate evaluate if there is evaluate if there is any other way to confess to the customer. Okay, really good. Okay, okay, students. Congratulations, you did a really nice work. I like it. Uh, a little bit problem with some words, but that's normal. Es un normal tener problemas con algunas palabras, así que vamos a, a ver cuál es palabra. As you see, eh, comprar en pasado se dice boat. 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 Okay. Boat. Yep. Then we're going to have this one. Donde está salesman. Eh, policies. 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 Yeah. Also, also, <laughs> okay, also, yes. And evaluate, eh, donde dice evaluate. Evaluate, yes, evaluate. Compensate. Okay, <laughs> this is compensate. Compensate. Yeah. Okay. Pero está bien escrito así. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. uh, it, it's right. Eh, aquí donde dice related, después de policies, está related. Mm -hmm. Related. Related. Related, yes. Related. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. Congratulations. Nice work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. We're going to... Uh, we're gonna go back to the main sessions. Okay, see you later. Thank you. Okay. okay. Okay, students, um, we still have time. Okay, we're going to continue with today's class. I know that when we are at the end of finalizar, you will feel like, uh, you know, HR, I want to go to sleep. But we have to continue with this. Esa es la ventaja que, pues, le hacemos frente hasta el final, right? Okay, okay, really good. Okay, let me see. Uh, right now, we're going to continue with this. And okay, give me a minute. And we're going to have this. We have a short conversation between two people. And this one. Okay, we're going to have a conversation in order to understand students how to use would, would like to, or wouldn't in a real way okay the conversation will be between two persons in a, uh what is this like, like a cafeteria right it's look like this okay here we go we have a conversation between peter and host okay uh, i need a couple who want to practice this dialogue Necesito una pareja ahí que quiera practicar este dialogue. Remember, the more you practice, the more you learn. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you, Fabrizio. I am, okay. I am host. Okay, uh, Fabrizio will be Peter and Daisy Peter. will be host. Okay, right. <laughs> Pero no Peter and the spider. Okay. <laughs> Una pregunta, teacher, este, I, I, la, I de, ¿cómo era? I, 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 okay, I, okay. I, como, como tips, como tips, eh, esa idea 
si ustedes no, básicamente ustedes pueden decir, eh, I like, I like. I ¿no? like, ajá, uh -huh. I like. Yo llevo una pequeña de I'd like, I'd like. Y las personas que hablan inglés como primer idioma, pueden eso. Así que, ay, bueno, no sé, esa pequeña. Ay, like. Okay, go ahead. I, okay. okay. Hello. Hello. I'd like a table for lunch, please. Certainly. Right is white. Yeah. Wait. 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 Okay. Certainly. Right this way. Thank you. I am really hungry. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy your your meal. Disfrute su. Y el white person también. Hello, my name is Kim. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to have some lunch. Great. Yes, I like a salad. Okay, continue, Daisy. What's awesome around you like? I like it. Some spaghetti is a good. It's a good, okay. Ah, uh, yes, it is very good. Well, would you like something to drink with? I perdón, perdón. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I like a glass of root beer, please. Certainly. Is there anything also I can do for for you? Yes, I can read this menu. How much is a spaghetti? Well, well, well. Yes, I can read this this menu. How much is the spaghetti? Esa era mi línea. <laughs> Ay, perdón. Ya me cambié de rol. Okay, go ahead. It's a 5.50 cents. Oh. And the salad is a 3.25 cents. Um, order. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really. Well, uh, as you see, students, porque uh, incluso Daisy want to sell something to Fabricio y al final Fabricio le vendió a Daisy. Okay, eso es bueno. Okay. Okay, really good. I need uh, somebody else who help me to uh, practice this conversation. Si ustedes notan, tiene mucho el like, el would like. Uh -huh. Vamos a conocerlo realmente como se usa. Ok, who want to practice again? Okay. Um, new, new couple? Yeah, a new couple, a new couple. Thank ok. You. Thank you. Ok, eh, yeah. I'm gonna choose according to your face. <laughs> Para los que se sonrían más van a ser los elegidos. Okay, I'm just kidding, right? Okay, let me see Marvin, ready? Yeah, sure, yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay, Marvin and uh, Rodrigo. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Uh, Marvin, you will be Peter. Rodrigo, you will be host. Y luego Rodrigo eh, se va a convertir en the wait person too. Ok, go ahead. Ok, Marvin, can you uh, turn on? Yeah. Una pregunta. One question. Yeah, sure. Wait person, ¿qué significa? Ok, wait person, it could be like uh, the person uh, who is like uh, del mesero, right? Waiter or waiter. Okay. But in this case, uh, is the one who support like uh, Waiter or waiting. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, hello. I lay a table for lunch, please. Certainly, right this way. Thank you. I'm really hungry. Sit down. Enjoy your meal. Hello, my name is Kim. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to have some lunch. Great. Would you like a starter? Yes, I like a salad. What else would you like? I like some spaghetti. Is it a good? Yes, it's very good. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I like a glass of red beers, please. Certainly. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, I can read this menu. How much is the spaghetti? It's five fifty and the salad is three twenty five. Thank you. Okay, yeah, really good. Uh, <laughs> <Very nice. laughs> okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, you get a really nice pronunciation, uh, Rodrigo and Marvin. Uh, so let me see. Mm, yeah, this one is okay. Uh, this one, enjoy your meal. Do you know what the meaning of this? Enjoy your meal. Uh, what does it mean? Enjoy your meal in Spanish. Mmm, que disfrute su, su comida. Disfrute su comida. Disfrute su, su, su comida. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. It's like this, per, pero así como una compensación a lo que nosotros decimos. Que es el, buen provecho. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Yeah, buen provecho. Así que, eh, eso. Enjoy your meal. Es buen provecho en English. Ok, very good. Eh, na, na, na. Luego, eh, we're going to find this. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Ok, this one. Certainly, certainly. Certainly. Por claro que sí. Por sí. supuesto, claro que sí. Oh, certainly. 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 Es similar a que ustedes digan, of course, I can do it. Claro que sí, por supuesto. Ok. Ok, that's good. I need uh, the last couple. Necesito una parejita más. Ahorita que ya escucharon la pronunciación de Rodrigo Marvin, eh, pues ya vamos mejorando. Así que, eh, let's go. Somebody else. Una parejita más que se atreva. Ay. Valientes, valientes. Ok, very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Ok, okay Jaime. Yeah, really good. Ah, muy animada que, a que lo bueno es equivocarse varias veces para aprender. ¿verdad? Voy de, de Twitter, ¿verdad? Inicio. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, hi. Yes. Okay. Hello. Diana with me, boss and wait person. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, is line. Ah, uh, por lunch, please. Okay. Certainly. Right this way. Thank you. You, um, I am an angry festival. Enjoy to me. Hello, my name is Kim. How can I, I am, am you? Ah, no, este no es el mío, ¿verdad? Okay, okay. Sí, no, no es el suyo, pero está bueno que le... <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yes. Okay. Hello, my name is King. How can I help you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, uh, yes, go line to hide some noise. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Right. Would you like a starter? Yes. Is line a sun. Okay. Well, what also would you like? I, I, I mm -hmm. eat a like some spaghetti is good. Yes, it's very good. Would you like some to drink? 
जीएसई लाई आगला ऑफ रोशबी प्लीज सेफनली से सेफनली इज देर एनीथिंग आल्सो आई कैन डू यू टू टू फॉर यू ओके आकार और रेडीज मेनू How much is this spaghetti? Okay. It's five fifty, and the salad is three uh, thirty. Uh, <laughs> okay, twenty. Twenty-five dollars. Yeah. Okay, Jaime, finish. Okay, tiene otro no la veo. Ah, thank you. <laughs> ah, okay, thank you. Perdón. <laughs> thank you. No lo estoy escuchando. Okay, yes, <laughs> okay. okay. A veces se, se sube la barra y no se ve. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, thanks for, uh, you know, to tell that problem. Okay, let's ah, see. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Jaime. Eh, you did it really good. Eh, Jaime, él, él lo está intentando, como ustedes ven, estamos en el proceso de aprender. Eh, me gustó porque en privado eh, tuvimos unos errorcitos y aquí los pulió. Eh, vamos a ver algunas palabras que vamos a mejorarla en el caso de este, I would like. Este que está acá. Este se dice I'd. 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 Yeah, I'd like. I'd like a table for lunch, please. I'd like a table for lunch, please. As you see, students, um, vamos a tener personas que hablan más rápido, otras que eh, un poquito menos rápido, pero al final todos vamos a ir aprendiendo. In this case, um, I'd like a table. Nosotros cuando escuchamos a alguien hablar inglés, ustedes notan, hablan really quickly, right? So, but oh, what's gonna happen with us? The most important point is to understand what they said. Lo más importante es entender. If you understand, it doesn't matter if you speak slow or faster, right? So that's why it is important to understand what the other people are gonna say. Okay, really good. Okay, thanks for this. I'd, I'd, I, yeah, this, I like. yeah, this expression you can say, how can I help you? Pew, how can I help you? How can you help you? How can I 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 help you? Okay, uh, then... Uh, this was the only word Certainly. that you said. This word. beer. beer. Okay. Okay. Really good. Uh, okay. This one you can say else. 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 Okay. Else. Okay. Really good. Uh, because of the time. Because, uh, Vamos a pasar la lista ahí rápidamente. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, when you listen your name, please say present. Carlos. And present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, let me see. Wendy Saraí Bonilla. Wendy. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, Gabriela Mirari. Present. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Fernando de Jesús Fernando, are you there? Okay. Uh, Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Eh, Miguel. Present teacher Carlos Alfonso. Okay, okay. Okay, Carlos Alfonso. Okay. 
Oke. Carlos. Carlos Antonio Mejía. Ah, no, no. Alfonso. Alfonso. Arriba estaba. Okay, uh, let me see. Milan, Okay, Rodrigo. Okay, the last one, Marvin Ernesto Alfano. I'm present, I'm here. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, nice. Okay, students, unfortunately, time is over, right? I know that you want to go to sleep because you are tired of working. So, and you have to take a rest, take a nap. I don't know why. But uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here today. It's a nice work. Uh, and I see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Good, Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good sleep. Good night. Good night, Tatiana. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.